Hello, if you want to stream your PS5, PS5 Slim or PS5 Pro on Discord, then you will need to use your PC. You need to have PC where of course you have Discord and by using the remote play you can actually stream whatever you have on a PS5. You want to open the browser and go to the PS Remote Play website. This is of course the official PlayStation website. I'm gonna leave the link in the description and once you are here you want to click on a download and then you want to choose your platform, in my case it is Windows PC. The installation is pretty straightforward but once you open it, once you open the app you will need to sign in to your PSN account so click on this button and then simply use your credentials in order to sign in. Of course we have the information that the app accesses the information from this device in order to operate the app, understand the performance and make improvements. So you want to click confirm and continue and if you want to, you can also modify the settings. But essentially you want to go ahead and now you want to select to which console you want to connect. Of course in our case we need to select PS5. Now keep in mind that first of all you need to use the same internet connection. Uh, so you want to connect to the same Wi-Fi on console and if you use the Ethernet cable in order to connect to PC that's completely fine, it should work anyway, as long as it is the same internet connection. And also you will need to enable the, um, the remote play option in the console. So even if you click on PS5, you will see the information that before connecting to your PS5 you need to go to the settings, system and remote play and then we need to turn on enable uh, remote play. So in order to do that let's go to the top right corner, open the settings and then we need to go to the system over here go to remote play and here we have emo uh, enable remote play. Now over here everything I have uh, enabled but on your in your case probably nothing will be enabled actually. So you want to enable the account that you logged into because in order to of course use the remote play you used an account uh, so in my case it is this one, of course you can enable for every account, it doesn't really matter that much as long as the, the same account is enabled over here that you use in order to log in into PS Remote Play. And once that is done we can click OK and now we are starting uh, to attempt to get the connection between the PC and the console. It might take a while before it is completed. But eventually you should see the information that we are pairing the console and now we are checking the network and there we go, we are connected. I can do pretty much whatever I want through the remote play, as you can see I am back in the same menu or in the same settings as I was before. Of course I am right now using the account that I was locked into on my PS5. Uh, but I am actually using the account that I locked into on a PS Remote Play, if that makes sense. So you might want to make sure that you are using your user uh, before uh, you connect, because if you try to switch the user then you will see the information that this feature is unavailable while someone else is using Remote Play. Uh, so keep that in mind. And yeah, so this is how we can connect to the Remote Play. You can also take over on your computer and you can quickly switch actually to your user. So if needed, you can click on the window of Remote Play. At the bottom you will find some tools, including the PS button. You want to click and hold in order to switch to your profile. And now you can use your keyboard arrows, for instance, on your computer in order to move around. Unfortunately, if you were connected with your controller to your PS control, um, console, then in that case, as you can see, I can't really do anything and I need to take over the control on the controller. However, of course, if you connect the controller to your PC, you should be fine and you should be able to, um, to make it work, pretty much. So, with that being said, once we set up everything in the remote play, we can go to the Discord and while being in the voice chat, of course, we can start sharing our screen. So let's click over here. Then from applications, we want to choose PS Remote Play. And there we go. Now we can stream easily whatever we do on the, on the PS uh, console.
So I'm gonna also open the PS Remote Play over here. Let's actually drag it to the bottom. And well, I don't have the preview, but essentially it should work without any issues. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.